welcome everybody, our, our uh, Air Force and uh, team uh, and General Spragans with DMR. Welcome again, and everybody here. It is exciting times. I, I got it, but you know, there's a lot of things we're going to talk about, and that's on the screen. Of course, point. You know, the Point Cadet, this is the village of the Point, you know, and we just returned from Europe, and uh, you can see how Biloxi evolved. This was, you know, you had bakeries, you had, uh, you know, uh, of course, seafood operations, and you, you lived, you, you prayed, and, and you, you did everything in Biloxi. That's a little, okay, Seal, you ready for me to point something out? Go back, one. That is the view of, of what was here in Biloxi uh, at different points in time. The one up on the left-hand side was back in the 80s before, uh, you know, the, the gaming. And there, you remember the Europa Star? Everybody remembers the Europa Star? And that was the, the sort of the, the beginning of uh, what, what's happening here uh, today in, in, uh, in Mississippi. Uh, there's another little <laughs> point there. The uh, lower left. See, you got a, there's a boat Right there in, in, uh, under, uh, under construction. That was actually the, the John Marvel Sr. That was probably a 144-foot croaker boat. And uh, it, it, it pulled about 190-foot nets. Uh, and, and the actual doors, if you know what I'm talking about, the doors that would spread the thing were big as a truck. And that was a, probably one of the biggest boats ever built, you know, on, on the coast. But every little yard, every little... Uh, Boat yard, you know, alongside the factories, they would build their boats right alongside. But that was a, a pretty unique vessel, and that's the first time I've seen that picture. But the, you know, from the 80s, and, and uh, as it has evolved, we've, uh, we're, we're here today, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of possibilities on, uh, you know, what can happen. We just had a workshop. Uh, you've seen, uh, let me go back in history a little bit. Of course, Katrina changed everything. Uh, prior to Katrina, we had IHL uh, with the uh, J.L. Scott Marine Education Center. So uh, and it went away. I think they reopened in Ocean Springs. But now we've got, a, uh, alongside this spot, uh, some green space with an opportunity to build. You know, you, you're limited to your imagination. Uh, we came up with some concepts to, uh, re, you know, revise what's, what you're seeing uh, adjoining here to the east. But literally, it's one of the most beautiful pieces of property around. And uh, those concepts that you see in, uh, uh, with the high rise and a little bit of, a, uh, uh, I guess, futuristic. But that actually was about seven or eight years ago before the downturn. And, and uh, you know, we had an excess of... Uh, uh, condos and those kinds of things we were planning to, to build and build, but it, that's a, a rendering from uh, Frank Ginzer a number of years ago. But you know, in recent times, we talked about uh, what we need to do at, at our waterfront. The subject of the waterfront workshop, and we had I think 30 or 40 people there. Just hey, throw out these ideas. What can happen? We know one thing: that the waterfront, you build it on the waterfront, you build it over the water, it wins. You say a little bit about you know, what's going on here, and we've got uh, a number of uh, unique things. I think the Betsy Ann, the uh, the Ship Island ferry, the Ship Island excursion boat. You know, everything is related to the success and, and to the uh, ability to touch that water and be part of the water. So, what now? I think uh, it, for us is to kind of develop a plan, and of course, get money. General Sprague, as you listening back there, we we, we need money. We got a deal. We got a deal cooking on the bay, on back, on back bay. <laughs> but uh, go next, I think, uh, Seal. This is actually, and in, in, in with the the port bond money, we together with the you know, the the financing that the uh, port bond has provided, where we're actually uh, putting a uh, boardwalk, you know, up between uh, the port point. Cadet Marina, and they're re, you know, redoing the bulkhead, and but we're going to give you the ability to walk all the way, you know, uh, underneath the bridge from from the marina all the way to uh, the Palace Casino. So that will be rebuilt, and there's some, actually at the top part of the screen there's some pretty good little uh, beach there, good uh, soft shell, at least it was when I was a kid, and they had riffraff and all that stuff. So they demolished the old bridge, but that we're going to be revising that so that little stretch that you see right now by the Seafood Industry Museum, you know, it'll, it'll uh, be uh, 
carried forward, carried forward and, and, uh, and th that's going to be really exciting. I think, Mike, what, about 1.8 million, something like that? So everything's a million. There's nothing less than a million dollars, I can tell you. I just, that's what I've learned. So just give me a number and how many zeros behind it. That's all we need. Okay, but uh, another one that was a, a, a million plus was what we just uh, opened, uh, not anything official, but was the West Biloxi Boardwalk. Uh, and you see some pictures of that, and it's, it's truly exciting, and it, it's sort of exotic when you see those lights and, and, and those pictures are good, good pictures there. But um, that West Biloxi has been very successful, and they're behind Restaurant Row. Everybody knows what we're talking about there. Now, we've got a second part of that to uh, come very shortly. We're in the engineering phase of that that would take uh, that boardwalk from uh, Veterans all the way to uh, Treasure Bay. That's Camellia Street. So that, that's on the, the, the drawing boards, and we'll go from there. But another exciting thing that happened the other day after uh, was at the port, the uh, Pops Ferry Causeway Park, and, and uh, uh, we're, uh, I think, officially open and uh, uh, available 24 hours a day, but not to cars. So 4 o'clock, I think, things uh, close. But uh, that's a pretty exciting you know, uh, uh, opportunity to, to visit nature and, and just to enjoy that, that waterfront, the quietness of the waterfront, but sometimes on the weekends that's a, sort of a freeway. So uh, that, uh, you know, I think they're going to, uh, not Goat Island, but the, uh, I forget the name of that little island everybody goes. <laughs> Grasshop Island, that's right. But uh, again, you know, the exciting possibilities there, you know, that's one of the abilities that that uh, facility there uh, eventually you know you sort of a, a stop where you can get fuel and get beer and get and all those kinds of things that that you do when you get out on the water and uh, so we're really excited about that uh, of course that brings us to some not so exciting things as far as uh, construction and uh, the vision street uh, I think is almost all the way paved now I think we've got uh, Billy Redwood as we got uh, between Raynor and uh, Lemuse. Walt, is that right? So, Maine and Lemuse, okay. But uh, that's been a long time in coming. But uh, again, if you go from Oak Street and look down to Vision Street, you know, it never has looked so good. Now, although we got two more inches of uh, asphalt to go before it's really completed, but uh, again, uh, all those little lateral streets uh, will be, you know, Coming, coming online, and, uh, you know, it's a project that really, from a con conceptual situation, you know, it went from uh, Nickel Street down to Oak Street, things, gravity flows one way, and from Nickel Street to the east, uh, to the west, excuse me, to Seal Avenue, but it goes from about 10 foot down to 34 foot down, and uh, that's truly a deep hole in Biloxi, and if you look at, if you ever seen uh, what they have to work with, sort of a reverse pyramid. They start with a big hole, reinforce it, dig down, dig down, and by the time you're really doing the work, you know, it's a, it's a very short, table size kind of area where they have to get down and uh, to actually connect the the, uh, the sewer, which is gravity fed and trying to eliminate the whole reason why we're doing this is to eliminate about 75 lift stations. So hopefully, that effort uh, that, you know, we'll have to visit that effort in, in another hundred years. So we're real uh, pleased with uh, at least finalizing and doing, going, coming to a completion of, of that uh, north contract. Uh, and then on the, on, the, on the south side, which is south of the railroad tracks, except for the bones we discovered the, on Highway 90, I think that's going along very well. Uh, and, and I think that that happened in April, I believe, and we're finally coming to a determination on what that was. But again, as, as explained to uh, some folks from uh, uh, MEMA and uh, FEMA, that uh, that cemetery actually went almost all the way to the uh, water's edge before the four laning happened. That was part of a cemetery, and uh, I think we've. Uh, the big concern was that it was a, any sort of an Indian or na Native American uh, uh, mound that, that we would have disturbed. But I think uh, the latest determination that was, you know, uh, uh, a part of the cemetery that was covered over when uh, the road was actually put on top, the, the four laning of uh, Highway 90 was, was put there. But, um, th and then again, everything needs to tie together 
So we got the north contract and the south contract. And of course, I think a company named Hemphill uh, is doing the south contract and Oscar Rand is doing the north, but they got to tie together. Now that has happened or is getting ready to go under the railroad tracks at Benaki. And Benaki, uh, you have to uh, jack and bore, bore under the, uh, the railroad tracks to tie this thing because all of this, uh, this stuff has got to get to Skegans Bayou for processing. So there's a big critical uh, area right around Benaki on Howard Avenue and uh, uh, Porter Avenue. So that's the action that's taking place now. And that, those are deep, uh, deep holes too. I actually spent Gary, Gregory Michelle is the uh, head of MEMA and uh, we've, I think, spent about two hours with him going to every bit of the, the contract north and south. And uh, he, I think he realizes from the state, you know, you got, you got MEMA and FEMA and everybody else, but uh, he's, a, I think, uh, appreciates what we're going through right now. And again, in, in conversation, all this project should have been done in 2013. That was the intent. And, you know, MEMA and FEMA wants to get these things closed because they've got their, you know, uh, an additional number of, of uh, disasters that they have to work with, especially with Florence and everything. But, you know, uh, we, he, I think he's appreciative of the, the challenges we run across. You know, you're always seeing a pipe that's not supposed to be there. And Bill Ray knows where all the pipes are, so we've got to make sure he stays healthy over there. But, uh, so, but that brings us... Uh, to, to something I'm really excited about. And I, I want our, our, our folks in uh, Team Keesler to look at that old shot of Howard Avenue. And that's about 3,000, uh, it was an Army Air Force at the point, at the time, on, uh, on Forces Day Parade. And the thing we noted when we were going through the design, I said it looked like a dance floor, really. And those on Forces Day Parades, as well as um, Mardi Gras, all those events we happened in down on Howard Avenue. So we hope to, to see a similar situation as we go through, but those bricks are, are pretty cool. And uh, we actually saved a few hundred of the original 1905 bricks, and they're integrated into the, uh, to the, to the footprint. So we're expecting uh, to be complete with, with it uh, from Raynor Street to uh, Lemieux Street, and then we're going to extend it uh, all the way to uh, the the, uh, the loop, but um, you know it's really exciting uh, to see that thing come to life again. Talked a little bit about the business opportunities, and if, if now that you visualize it, now that you see it, then uh, the people are uh, are really interested. And we got folks that uh, that have uh, seen the opportunity, at least vision the opportunity, like we did uh, as we went through. Of course, we got cruising the coast, and. Uh, that little shot right there is of, my wife said, when are you going to sell that car? But that's a 65 Malibu. But uh, we'll be cranking it up in here shortly. And I want to invite everybody to, you know, Wednesday is, is our uh, 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 gathering in, in downtown. Uh, well, also, you might see that um, from last year, we uh, used the old D Chevrolet property. Well, we've got patio 44 and, and uh, mugshots is on that property that's been built. So now uh, the community bank, who is actually in, in a construction, you know, development uh, phase of that property where the old federal courthouse is, well, we've kind of cleaned that up. And, and so the, we're expecting a number of cruisers to be parking there. So between that spot and then, you know, down Lemieux Street and all the way to the beach, it'll be party central on Wednesday. So, uh, Please, please join us. If you got your car, just bring it out. We'll figure out a place to park it. Can we do questions and answers? Yes, we can. I know we can do questions. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you an answer. Then, yeah, no, any questions, answers. Right? Mike Leonard has a question. Mayor, the, uh, the fire department sitting out here waiting to have you tell something about their new stations. Oh, yeah. Well, we got two, you know, in the middle, of, we got uh, station number 10, station number 7, and we got some... Uh, a way to uh, to pay for it, so that's the main thing. But uh, you know, the, the one that at Pops Ferry in Cedar Lake is going to be a truly a good a center of uh, a training, and it, it's multi million. Again, my everything's multi million dollars, but uh, that's uh, that first uh, project will replace a number of trailers that they've been living and and and, and breathing in, and uh, so we're really excited about that, and as well as the one at, at uh, in Wool Market or actually in, uh, Cedar Lake. Any other questions? Milton, yeah, great, great to have you, Milton. Good morning, Mayor. CBB, right. I just want to thank you for your support to our organization. 
Equally, we are behind your efforts. It's important. Biloxo is one of the most important components in our tourism platform. And I would like to get your opinion on the hotels that are coming in yeah. into, into the city, which are so important for the growth of, of the industry. Right. It's truly exciting. You know, it's sort of a confirmation of, of what we feel the conditions are. You know, these folks don't put money in, in the ground without a plan. So we're not privy to all the marketing studies. You know, and, and you know it's, it's important as far as bringing CEOs of, of companies that, that you know, want to expand. So we, we're sort of a confirmation of, hey, yeah, the conditions are right for Biloxi. You know, we just draw, uh, uh, put a, a, a center somewhere and, and draw a, a one mile radius. Uh, it, we're talking about six or seven thousand hotel rooms here, and with a, about three hundred to come back online very shortly. So we're excited, and again, I think it's all part of our one coast situation. You know that uh, we are the center, synergy of of where the hotel rooms are, and and, and we're trying to you know add to uh, uh, I guess the uh, the conditions to say, hey, come build your hotel because this is where to do it. This is where everybody is. Yeah. Um, so, Mayor, speaking of all those folks, they, they got to get around and getting them across Highway 90. Can you talk a little bit about the yeah, walkover pass that are that are? Yeah, in? we got two crossovers, and we understand that uh, in talking with the, the superintendent of the one at the uh, MGM Park, that will be uh, uh, finishing up in December and then, you know, uh, ready for that. But then also we, we're in the, 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 the construction mode, and we finished the design, and we've actually bid it, right, the uh, second crossover at the uh, Small Craft Harbor. So right south of uh, Watermark, or the old Santa Maria is where that will be. So you'll have two ways to get to and fro the beach and convenience for our two uh, new hotel rooms going at the old uh, uh, hospital site. So it'll be very cool. Now, the general I've worked out a, he's still here, he's not here, but anyway, we've worked out a, a situation where we're trying to ex expand that, uh, the, the boardwalk. You've seen the 10-foot boardwalk, and we've talked a number of times about the, uh, the, the knee wall, the 10-foot walkway that we have 17,000 linear feet to do uh, throughout the Biloxi. But this will be 3,500 between um, the Oak Street and Small Craft Harbor, right along, in, you know, uh, that area. So it uh, it's all coming together in those crossovers and the ability to to walk. And we've seen some very a lot of success on, the, especially with the air show uh, that took place as, uh, uh, right there at the uh, uh, Great Lawn, and that was very successful. Yeah, Mike. Good morning, Mayor. You. Um, you spoke about Division Street uh, earlier, and I get to talk to the. Division Street Gate Project. Oh, yeah. The city the I'm sorry. The city is part of the Kiso Gate Project. We're yeah, it is. It, it is. And I think we've got a lot of construction going on inside the gate. And, and again, uh, uh, that's about $15 million of, on outside the gate that from Forest Avenue all the way to uh, uh, I-110. One half a mile. It's $17 million. We're, We almost have all the money. <laughs> but it's going to get there. So that's a $30 million plus project that we just dreamed about for a number of years. But it's, it's reality and, it, and it's happening. And we've been uh, very careful not to, as Oscar Renner completes the North Project, and most of that is, is below the surface. And uh, we're, we're very confident that uh, uh, we'll be actually putting those contracts, you know, after the design uh, in play very shortly. Uh, but that truly is exciting, you know, to look at that whole corridor and even looking at a little bit of a, more of the economic opportunity, the, the development of, of a, a corridor leading into Keesler. And we've, we were very excited about some of the designs that, that you know, the gateway into Keesler uh, along the Street would be very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we talked at uh, previous meetings about the challenges to the tourism industry from uh, Katrina, the yeah. peace bill. Have you all seen significant increase in tourism numbers, dollars, and everything over the last couple of years? Well, I think over the years, uh, Milton has, you know, from his data collecting standpoint, I think, yes, uh, we, we've had, uh, uh, you know, ADR, uh, uh, daily rates and, and uh, uh, percentages have gone up, and, uh, uh, yeah, we, we feel it's getting better. You know, the, the number of people interested in putting other hotel rooms, not casinos, uh, operations, but... Uh, you know, I think that indicates. Yeah, Milton, you want to follow up with that? Yes, sir. Um, well, last year we received 13.5 million visitors, 5.8 million overnight, 7.7 .7 million day visit. Um, just to give you an idea to, to you and to all the people here, 
Um, one third, approximately, of all the tourism activity in the state of Mississippi, it's here with us at the coast. 58% uh, of the total visitors to the state of Mississippi comes here. The state received 23.1, we get 13.5 of those. Um, if you ask the number of total expenditure, total expenditure for the state is a little bit more than $6.3 billion. In our case, it's $2 billion plus $1.1 in casino, gaming revenue. So as you can see, if the Gulf Coast do good, the state of Mississippi do better. Yeah, thank you, Milton. Let me congratulate you, too. You know, he, he's got a handle on, on what's happening. You know, we've got eight operations uh, that have their own marketing, and, and, and Milton's trying to put a plan together to say, we have our marketing, you have your marketing, let's put our, our heads together to make sure that, you know, uh, frequency and reach that result in, in more tourism. So, I mean, it, you, you don't, again, below the scenes, you don't understand. Each casino has their goals and, and their way to uh, get their, their players and, and get new players to the ball game. Again, Sportsbook has, has really kicked it up another notch. And, you know, you look at uh, the folks that are coming from uh, Louisiana every weekend to, to bet anything that they can bet on. And then, of course, you know, Alabama, they have a group. And, they, and they're, we're the closest to, to be able to do this legally. And uh, uh, we're really excited about that. Uh, again, every weekend, it's like the Super Bowl, as far as I, I'm saying. So it, it, uh, although it's not a, a, a big money maker, it, it's, it's to the... Uh, you know, it's another thing you can do in Biloxi, you, you can do along the coast that really excites us. So uh, we're, uh, we're, we're thumbs up. I think that's a, that's a, a good thing. You know, you've been able to do this over the internet for, forever, and, and you still can, and FanDuel and some of these other things that happen. And it, it, there's some significant, uh, uh, you know, uh, effort uh, that people do. But now this is, this is really uh, uh, an opportunity for Biloxi. Yeah, Vincent. Last question. Isn't the world's, the universe's largest golf tournament happening this well, weekend? we would call, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, Vincent. We're having our 44th Slavic Invitational Golf Tournament, and I think there are 513 two-man teams. This is a, a, an event that, uh, that started as just, a, hey, let's get together and go play some golf. Well, this is our 44th year, and uh, you know, over, over uh, five, uh, Chet, good to see you, brother, uh, over... Uh, six golf courses so that's happening right now and, I, and I'll probably leave here and go make sure that the, 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 the World Wide Web is updated on where you'll be playing Friday morning so uh, anyway that that is a, a great uh, event that takes a number of uh, my volunteers and I think my wife is, is going to be heading the uh, the social activities at uh, Grand Bear tomorrow morning <laughs> so anyway what does that mean Vincent? okay <laughs> All right. Well, I thank y'all and appreciate uh, you coming here to, to, to listen. Uh, thank you, Rachel. Thank y'all. Thank you, Mayor Gillich. We appreciate you honoring this longstanding Bloxy Chamber of Commerce tradition.